Hey, hey we're the Grogans. You're, you're watching, watching Desert, Desert TV. TV.
Take care of this time to figure 
Hey, it's Kim and you're watching Desert TV. I'm in the studio tonight with the Grogans. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. All the way from Melbourne and we've picked the hottest day of the week, maybe the month for you guys yeah. to arrive. How are you all feeling about uh, the temperature right now? Yeah. Hot. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling better that all the locals are saying it's hot as well. Yeah. So yeah. it's not just us. We thought we were just Melbourne hardcore. Are, yeah, about we thought the weather. We were, mm. But all the locals are going like, oh, my God. So it makes, it makes you feel heaps better. And it's a it. sellout show. Uh, we were just saying it's a sellout show. So it's going to be a lot of hot, sweaty, young bodies. Heaps of body heat. A lot of body heat. A lot of body heat. Radiating from the Sick. stage. Oh, wow. There are some fans above you guys on the stage. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. On to you. You've just got to find the exact got to sweet, find the sweet spot. spot. Yeah. They're just bringing like some ice. Yeah. Water and just... Quick dunk yeah. in the play, yeah. 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 I feel like you need to get your hair, um, you need to find one of these fancy hair just goes like back and you just look like this beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, real majestic, majestic, yeah, majestic, majestic sort of. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming all the way to the Gold Coast. You guys are on a big run at the moment. Um, I don't know how many shows you've got. You guys don't know either. No, we're no. Like <laughs> um, but you do have some <laughs> shows coming up in Brisbane and you head up to the sunny coast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. up to Maroochydore on Sunday. And have you done um, a big run like this before or is this the biggest run? Uh, I've done like fairly large runs. Um, this is definitely the biggest tour we've kind of organised. Mm. But it's going well so far. Yeah. We're not Last weekend was cool. Yet, and really? So far, well, we've only, we played Byron last night but that was pretty fun. It's always a good time. That's always, yeah, yeah. Always you're always tired after Byron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but ready to go still. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And your music is uh, obviously very popular um, on the Gold Coast inning. Have you played on the Gold Coast before? We haven't played any headline shows. Yeah, we have played been... though. We played at um... we did like, the best night ever. Oh yeah, yeah but with at Miami Marquette mm -hmm. with um, yeah. Violent Soho, Soho and stuff. Yeah, that was fun. But it sold your show tonight. Sold out within I think it was hours, if not on the day oh, that it came shit. out. It was pretty quick. I remember yeah, watching right. it was going, I was like, That's shit, I'm nice. going to have to oh, <laughs> um, So it's going to be a pretty popular, ready to go, I love the Grogan's vibe <laughs> out there. How do you guys feel about, um, you know, selling out your first headline Gold Coast show? Love uh, it. Yeah, it's sick. It's a bit, it's, cool. it's always a bit strange. Like, yeah, it's always a bit weird um, when that stuff happens because we're just not really in that mindset. We're sort of just playing music for you know, but yeah, it's unreal. Like, I don't know. So I don't know why we've left it out. It's nothing personal, I promise. Yeah, I don't know why we <laughs> haven't. I don't know why we haven't. Yeah, we, like, we, we always see comments past. going, "Come to Gold Coast," and we're like, "Damn, but we're adding it." Yeah, Gold I think Coast, we were so. supposed to. Was it here that we're supposed to play with Hockey Dad, or something? Not something sure. like that. And then that got cancelled, and then everyone was like a bit upset with that. So. Couldn't leave back. it. Couldn't leave it out again. We're back. So yeah, we're, mm. we're here. Yeah, and it's gonna be fun as. Mm. And we have. Um, we saw on your rider that you guys – so I'll give you some backstory, actually. There was another time there was a band, a uh, little band called Kingswood back in the day yeah, when yeah. they were first fresh on the scene and they used to have on their rider a garden gnome and no one had ever gotten them a garden Jesus. gnome. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to get these guys a garden gnome. Got them a garden gnome and they <laughs> were like, Provode. we love you. No one has ever given That's us a garden gnome. So when we saw <laughs> on your rider – your requests um, <laughs> and we knew the temperature of what yeah. today was going to be. Fresh pair of socks and jocks for each band member. How are you? Yeah, that was definitely um, a joke to start we're out We're so with. stoked on it though. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. About that. forgot to good. take it off the right a bit. We're seriously thankful. Forgot that it was on the right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it was on I the didn't right. even remember adding it. No, neither do I. But I don't know if we did. It's on there. Too. I don't know if that's... Our manager will. I can't remember if he just might have put that on there for a bit of fun. We had a few beers got... and we're having a meeting, and then we we're talking one about rider. One thing yeah. led to another. We're talking about jocks and socks, and then, <laughs> then they're written down. Well, I mean, they're just really looking after you. They're like these boys are going on tour. They're going to be away for a while. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 washing. I don't know why we didn't think of it sooner. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty a great keen. Way. Pretty keen yeah, for the is, clean yeah. socks and jocks. If yeah. everyone got us clean socks and jocks, we'd be we'd be oh, loaded we'd be up, fresh as a yeah. freaking. <laughs> Whatever's fresh. Tick tack. Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Talking about. <laughs> Mentos. Tell us about this tour. Are you promoting some new music or what, what is the tour in aid of? Um, it's the, our most recent album, Which Way Is Out, mm -hmm. which was released in November or oh, really? something. I, can't, I think October or November. Mm. True. Um, True. But yeah, it's in the name of that. Yeah. It's <laughs> just think. been a bit funny. Oh, shit, I spilled my beard. Idiot. <laughs> um, it's been a bit funny because it took so long for that to come out. 
So then when we're touring it, it feels very old mm. for us. Yeah. Because of, I feel like with a lot of musicians, like with this period of like the COVID thing, now when we're touring it, it's like, oh, fuck. Like we've got all these like other new songs we're playing. So we've definitely got to like keep reminding ourselves that we're in the tour for that album. Yeah, you know, like, like got to keep them fresh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we just, we're loving playing the new tracks off the album and it's sick watching people kind of enjoy it and get stuck into the new tracks. Mm. Which, yeah. It's cool. funny you say that a lot of um, musicians say the same thing when they're releasing and touring new music. You know, they've spent all this time in the studio playing yeah. this music and then they have to play it again. By the time they actually hit the road, they're like, fuck, this yeah, is yeah, so yeah. this album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where did you guys record and, and how was that experience for you guys? We just, re- one we we just recorded. Yeah, we just did it ourselves. Gus has got like a family little holiday house in Ocean Grove. Um, we've done it for the last few. We've just kind of sneak down there and... Yeah. It's cool, yeah, just set up downstairs and yeah, for a couple of weeks and yeah. All to ourselves. I think we got down there. There was like a little break in like the, all the lockdowns in Melbourne. Yeah, just scraped in. Yeah, it was like it was like a two-week break so, and we were there for two weeks. Just got it all done and then, yeah, so it, it has been sitting for a while. Mm. But mm. it's nice to finally play them to some people. Yeah. <laughs> so and just, tonight they're going to be they're gonna be loving it, that's for oh, sure. That's um, sick. <laughs> Dude, I was fucking freezing. I'm sweating. Bro, yeah, I got a need to be situated on Burr Street. You know, a flap jacket. Hey, thanks so much for coming out. We do really appreciate it. Um, it's finally, finally a good time to do a headline here. And it feels really good. 
Um, just before we continue, I do just want to acknowledge that we do gather here today on stolen land, and we would like to pay our respects to First Nations people past, present and emerging. Uh, this always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Start a conversation, learn something, look after yourselves. Here we go. All right. This next one's called Inside My Mind.
know for sure And how would you know How would you know How would you know Just let it go Don't just let it go Don't just let it go And fuck. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm hot. Uh, yeah, uh, this one's called Woke Up Feeling All Right. Staying hydrated. Drink up. Drink up. Just 
All right. We are um, going to take it down a little bit and um, do something kind of different. Actually, it's not anymore. I'm lying. Um, sometimes the only time I get to tell these two how much I appreciate them is right now. So I'm just grateful to be here with my two best mates ever. And, um, and I'm really appreciative, we all are. Um, if you guys come out on such a hot now, we get it. It's fucking hot. But um, this next one's just a song to remind yourself to do something you enjoy. Um, don't chase something you don't want to do, fuck that. Um, you shouldn't give a shit what you're doing as long as you're enjoying it. Um, it's called Money Will Chase You. Sometimes I wonder why it's taken me so long to figure out where it is I belong. Money might buy you the house if you dream.
this is your very last day. Jordy on the guitar, yeah! called the fangs.
to the music, some of your music today, um, and it feels really familiar. And I, I don't know, maybe that's part of the reason that you guys have so, had such great success, mm -hmm. but it um, feels really familiar kind of music when you're listening to it. And also at the same time, it has like a, a different sound to what you would, you'd expect, um, I guess, for three boys coming from Brighton. Oh, um, no, no. no. Not, not from damn, Brighton. Damn, that's a, that is boys. Oh, that's a secret. Oh. We're not, not me. <laughs> I just want to specify that we're not from Bentley. From, yeah, Bentley. We're, we're living there. We're Frankston. From. I'm from Frankston. <laughs> heaps worse. Throwing shade. <laughs> we're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I guess um, you know, there's elements of your music that you'd say being likened to like uh, Ocean Alley. There's a little bit of uh, the Babe Rainbow vibe. I felt like in some of your tracks as Ooh. well. Yeah. Um, but what do you guys think of when you hear your music? Is there some great musicians that you listen to and you think, yeah, like that's sort of the sound that we're sort of striving for? Are you completely mm. finding your own own way? Yeah, it's 
we never really kind of set out and go, oh, we want this album to be this specific genre or this specific genre. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of our stuff's it's pretty inspired most of the time. Like there's hints of like blues, like old blues, rock and roll kind of tracks. Where does that come which, from for you guys? I don't know, just kind of what we grew up listening to, like a lot of old Rolling Stones and mm. who else? I think oh, even uh, lots of old, like, older stuff, even I think it sort of stemmed from not even the specific like, like you know, the actual like writing of their music. It was a lot of like a lot of sounds like, that we mm. like from like mm. like old records. And, and we're not a blues band or nah, anything like that, but like it's kind of. Just tones and things yeah. like that have morphed into like our sort of more modern like, you know, songwriting of what we do. But I think. I think the reason that like, it might sound familiar or something is because we never are trying, like, we never try and write a song. We never go out and sort of be like, all right, we really want to write this specific song. We go out and write some songs and then they're the ones that we liked at the time. Then we just put them out and then we move on. Mm. So I think that's where, like, that element comes from. Yeah, it's pretty it's just really natural cool process. It's sort of, yeah, you find yourself, like, grooving yeah. onto it even if you haven't heard yeah, that cool. particular track before. You're like, Sick. oh, yeah, I'm just, like, <laughs> moving to this. This yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, so as far as old blues musicians go then, who who is the ultimate? Who's the ultimate guy that, or Jeez. girl that you would go, I like, love their sound, I love their tone, I love their <laughs> riffs, I love their, their noise. What it, who's I the ultimate? I grew up on a lot of, um, like in terms of blues, like a lot of B.B. Like, um, King and Yeah, Taj Muddy Mahal, Waters. Muddy nice. Waters. Um, also a lot of like rock and roll. Like, Jordy, you into like a lot of yeah, I so like Led like, Zeppelin. And yeah, I just love like a lot of old, old Led Zeppelin albums and a lot of that, yeah, so like old rock. But there's Chuck still some Perry. like real bluesy Zeppelin songs and yeah. everything. So yeah. I don't know, they were probably like my favourite band for mm. the last however long. We are talking about some old, <clears> old <throat> you guys were talking about some old bands before, um, talking about writers. Who were you saying had a, a teapot on stage? Oh, oh, yeah, oh Black yeah. Sabbath. <laughs> I saw that was Sabbath. Yeah, Black Sabbath in like 2013, I think I went and saw him and yeah, he had a little teapot on like the drum riser and like a cup of, he just like kind of waddle over and like pour over a there. cup of tea and then have a sip and like, I can't fucking hear you. And like, <laughs> yeah, it was sick. Oh, cool. So I was like, what was that, 10 years ago. So I was, oh, I was, imagine it now. I was oh. 14 and there was just like these big blokes and like. Joy's biggest inspiration. Leather jackets and like <laughs> just. <laughs> intimidated and terrified of this, but so it was good. sick. <laughs> and he was up there just drinking tea. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. That's rock and roll is <laughs> shit. Tea is rock and roll. So we'll see a few teapots on stage. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Surely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Every time. Filled with gin or something. Yeah. No, so maybe that was his secret. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You guys are um, touring with another band? Are you touring with another band? Um, no, no so getting like local supports for most places we go. Um, have you played with the bands that you're touring with before today or like before? We've got our mates from uh, Victoria, Bones and Jones. Yep. They're helping on a few shows with us. They played over in Adelaide with us and they're doing next weekend with us in like Sydney, Wollongong, Newcastle yep. and Canberra and our Melbourne shows. Um, yeah, they're sick. So it's good to have like one band come and to a bunch of the shows with yeah. us and we do like mixing it up though we like we yeah, do, yeah for we sure like mixing it up, but sometimes it's nice to see yeah like we got the merchants and the well. dandies tonight yeah the dandies played last night with us in byron yeah, yeah. yeah. sick so yeah. and as far as melbourne bands go that are on point right now for us those in queensland who who should we be keeping our eyes out for other than the Grove yeah clearly no, definitely <laughs> bones and jones definitely yeah. bones and jones 100 um they, yeah, they're they're probably one of our favorite bands. Yeah, uh, Fillmore's. The Fillmore's. The Fillmore's are a really amazing band. Hundred percent. But Ballet Lip Bombs, they're Ballet pretty. Bombs. They're sick. Okay. They're Lip cool. Bombs. They're they're about to bring out some new yeah new stuff. So right. yeah. Stiff Richards. <laughs> Stiff Richards. Stiff Richards. Stiff Richards. Delivery Jones. Count. There's yeah. just yeah. There's, there's too I many. I know that's why too it's really important to get personal references or recommendations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You go to Melbourne and it's like far out. Oh, we used yeah. to Gold Coast. We used to like five venues, right? You Any of those ones, ones we kind of We could list honestly like list like, like we've got so many like Auntie Leo, Velvet Bloom. Like yeah. it's just r ridiculous how many good bands there are. Yeah. Yeah. And like really great people. I think that's the main thing for us is like I think everyone's music gets 
heightened for us when we meet them and they're really like nice people mm. to hang out with mm. it's definitely mm. important for us like yeah. do you think gone are the days of asshole rock and rollers or 100 like, yeah. hopefully yeah. i hope so I, it's, it's, I it's, so. it's, it's, it's not so. dead but it, i personally think like that whole scene mm. is dying like it's just not a thing mm. i mean it's definitely for, it's for the it's for the better yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. For the better. 100%. it's for the better it's so around like there's there's yeah. he, heaps of it but i think it's um i think it's going yeah down. you still get a bunch of bands that like sit in their green room and kind of lock the door and yeah. <laughs> if you're supporting them and they yeah don't want to have a bar of it but mm. yeah How many people in your green room tonight it's everyone yeah. everyone's in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got air aircon on. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> i think oh. the crowd will be just pushing in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah everyone be watching from, watching from the yeah, side of stage <laughs> in the green room <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right guys thank you so much it's been great chatting with you thanks for having us well, well, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's Kim and I'm in the podcast studio with the Grogans on Desert TV.
We could watch an old movie Or let the records play Guys, we've got two more and then we can uh, get some fresh air, have a beer. All right. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, this next song is called Lucky Enough. Um, it's a song about being grateful to have friends and to be doing things and... Ugh. Shut up. It's called Lucky Enough.
thank you so much for having us. I just want to say one more thank you to Jardine. He's, um, he comes on the road with us and we appreciate you, bro. Yeah, Jardine. Yeah, fine. Up the sharp. Oh, yeah. Take care. Look after yourselves. We've been the Grogans. Um, thanks for sticking around. Oh. And that's it.